Good morning, everybody. We are down here in McClellanville. Uh, we're not too far from the spot we were shrimping in last time. Uh, I decided to make a move this morning, put in at Georgetown and made the run down to McClellanville. Uh, we're gonna try a little bit of fishing, but for the most part, we're just gonna be down here running the poles. It's today the day we finally fill this cooler up with shrimp. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, I like that. I would like you to stop for your own safety. That's a monster. Look at this. We need to take a pose with this one. We need to take a pose. You're going to take a pose with all of them? I wish all these poles were taller. That way, when you throw it, you don't you don't ever go like on top of it. But when you do that, you don't worry about the poles. We got some shrimp. Yeah. You do that, you don't worry about the poles. It was a little bit off the bait, I would say. I think, but um. Way off the bait. So off the bait that we didn't get any shrimp. Fishy. Oh, guys, I'm so embarrassed that I, um, Fishy. yeah, that I was right. Hey, buddy. Oh, we just saw that. What are you doing? Come here and talk to him. Hey. Six is in the mix. So one, four, five, and six. One, four, five, and six. Definitely six. How about that for shrimp? How about that for shrimp, people, folks? People, folks? Yes, sir. Yes, ma Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. Who, who do you think I am? Ow. Rude and disrespectful. How about from now? Click the home button. Oh, I'll, I will take that. All right. Yeah, that's good. From well, no, I didn't. It's still. Because I think it's just about, like, right now. Took the whole boat. Oh god. Oh my god, saw them up. Good good. I'm talking about it. That's what I'm talking about. There's a couple out of there too. Alright, we just finished our fourth pass down here in McClellanville. The fourth pass was markedly better than, than the, the first three. Uh, really good size on them. If that can keep up, we might finally be on our way to filling this cooler up. Hopefully it will, I'm praying. Alrighty, alright. 
you dare hang that off the boat like that. So no, you turn around. Put that around. bag on. No, I told you. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! There's a few in there, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm copycatting. No, don't swing him over! No, he must stay with us! He is mine! I'm going for some shrimps. Come on, shrimps! Ow! Wow! I just wanna get the shrimps so I can eat them. I can eat them. I just wanna. I just wanna. Just want the shrimps so I can eat them. Right there. Wow. All right, just got done washing the boat, getting everything cleaned and put away. Uh, yesterday was a pretty good day. Um, ended up with about a third of a cooler of shrimp. Really nice stuff. It was definitely an experience running poles by myself though. That was the first time I've done it, running it with a trolling motor, having to stand up there all day uh, with my, my ankle still kind of not fully healed. It, it was a challenge, especially with the wind, but I feel like I did pretty good for, for doing it by myself, getting a third, of, uh, a third of a cooler filled up. It was a pretty good day all day until I got back to the landing, found out that some jackass had run over the right side of my trailer. Unfortunately, that is what happens when somebody runs into the right side of your trailer and just takes off and leaves. I broke off the guide on, broke that in half, broke the, the light mount, was laying on the ground, I had to cut the wire and strap the boat to the trailer instead of just pulling it like I normally do. Uh, there's just nothing that I can do about it, obviously, but I mean, a coward's a coward and you just do that to somebody's trailer and take off, that's all you are. Uh, but other than that, it was a really good day. Um, had a good day out there with the kids. It was a nice day other than the wind. It was really nice and cool. wasn't too hot. Uh, I've got some videos coming up. I'm going to show you all how I cook some of these shrimp. It's coming up very soon, so be on the lookout for those. And if you, there's anything that you all want to see, I've kinda try, I'm kind of trying to make some episodes of making the bait balls, and et cetera, like that. If there's anything, any part of this that you all want to see, please just comment and let me know. I'm by no means a pro at this. This is only my second year doing this shrimp baiting. I'm, I'm still learning. And if you want to learn, I recommend you just get out there and do it. There's no way that you're going to learn if you don't just actually get out there and start doing it. And don't be afraid to ask. Ask people. Ask, ask people that, that have a cooler for the shrimp, hey, what did you do? How did you get this? Some people are going to blow you off and they're not going to answer you. They're just going to say, I went so and so. But a lot of people you'll find if you ask enough people, they will help you. And they will at least point you in some kind of semi-right direction. So just get started. That's, that's what you got to do. Buy yourself a set of poles. Make yourself a set of poles. And just get going. It's a lot of fun once you get going at it. So, But thanks for watching. If, you, if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.